Salutations friends and welcome to another video of Spellforce the Breath of Winter campaign. So we are done with the farming as well as our ogre genocide here. Not as much loot as I was expecting, but it's always nice. Could use something else besides orc daggers, but oh well. We lost some of our dark blades, but our sorcerers are intact. We didn't lose any of them. Some fire masters and fighters coming down the mountain. Let's wait until the sorcerers kill them. Then we can move on to destroy the ogre camp. Let's get more dark blades to help us destroy the buildings. Our iron is almost depleted, as well as the stone and the area, I guess, is as well. So let's bring these three, leave two there to get the stone, we'll leave two over here on the stone as well, and we'll get the three of them as well. So that should give us plenty of workers. Hmm, some more ogres coming down here. We might have to leave the sorcerers and just bring the dark blades. Yeah, let's do that. Have them follow the avatar. Have the avatar move straight for the enemy camp. Send the sorcerers in to help us. The Dark Blades should finish this building quickly. Well, the sorcerers take care of the ogres. Let's not forget to upgrade our skills. Let's get necromancy level 3 and upgrade our black magic to level 4, as well as our intelligence, wisdom and once more stamina. And we can get started on another mine. Some armor. Hmm. This should be useful for Dunham. Yes, it is. So, something decent, finally, besides daggers. Okay, this ogre camp is done. Finished, destroyed. Let's send the sorcerers with the avatar as well. Okay, fire masters and ogres. I don't want the avatar in the front, so she won't get killed. Let's get, what, maybe five slaves. One of them goes in the smelting works. And the others will get a mine started. Nor is with us. We are dead. Let's attack them. Now we can group them together. So we can keep advancing with our army. Let me guess, more daggers, no? Plenty of shields, let's see, can we use it? Yes we can, 
But I am going to lose wisdom. I gain agility and intelligence just remains the same. So I will do this just for the armor class. Is it worth it? Hmm. Wisdom is the maximum amount of mana. So minus 5 probably isn't that bad, bad of a disadvantage. So let's get the extra armor class. And we'll keep the rest as it is. Okay, let's upgrade our unit limit. Where is the medium headquarters? We don't have any. Do we? Yes, we, we have one. How do I not remember where I... Yeah, here it is. So that's 50. Let's keep on moving to the enemy camp. Oh, the sorcerers are doing the job better than my avatar. Let's hold off here a bit. Plenty of skeletons for us to take advantage of. So that's 19 over here. Let's make a second group of skeletons. To use as cannon fodder. And we'll leave this larger group here to stall the enemy advance when they come from the gate. And let's get... maybe... 10 more sorcerers. You guys can get started on your mine. Not that we need the iron, but we'll take advantage of all of it. Could use some more Arya, but there should be another Arya deposit down here in the south. So that's no problem, and we have plenty of workers. I could get started on... Well, the Necromancer will be useful against higher leveled enemies. There are some level 20 crawlers, I think, that they could stall stall them while the sorcerers kill them. But I might as well just use the sorcerers and use the skeletons for the same purpose. If we even have any. And the rest, maybe dark blades? Hmm. I already have 10, so... Maybe 15 would be the ideal number. Let's get 5 more and the rest will be sorcerers. You can never have enough sorcerers. Some more skeletons. Let's keep them there. More ogres. So there is another ogre camp here. The ogres do give a lot of experience. Maybe I should have farmed them a bit more. Okay, the dark blades are done. Let's get the sorcerers. Let's get these guys together with the main army. So that's an army of 45. Let us not keep them waiting. And there's more orcs coming. Quite a large number of them. Onward, Might need to send in the skeletons first. Just to draw their fire. Okay, they are attacking us from behind. 
let's try and not get the sorcerers killed. You can run away. Yeah. Yeah, we lost some of them. That was unexpected. Okay, let's send in the skeletons against them. Then we'll send the army. And we'll leave the avatar here to defend against these ogres. They are pretty strong for Risen Dead. I was expecting a lot more of them to die, but they are pretty resistant. Yeah, so you can see why the Dark Elves are so overpowered. Just look at the amount of skeletons that we have. And all of them can regenerate their health with the food stores as well. So yeah, pretty OP. Now let's get rid of this ogre camp, because I want the Arya over here. No need to send in the skeletons. The Dark Blades can serve as meat shields for us. And the sorcerers will just kill them all. So yeah, as expected. Almost feel bad for the poor ogres. Yeah, you are pretty banged up. Let's go and get the slaves so we can get started on another Onyx Shrine. Yeah, you guys can come and join us. And that's it for the ogres. I think there is another camp, yeah, there they are. 48 skeletons. Jeez. Let's try and preserve them, but they are tougher than I remember them being. This Dark Blade is not doing great. Let's hope he doesn't die. Okay then, let's send the army here. I want them to protect this area here. So I can go safely on to the south. Just look at that. Bunch of skeletons along with a Dark Elf army. I don't know why the skeletons are so small. I mean, some of them are orc and ogre bodies. Yeah, we are gonna lose some troops. I don't mind losing the Dark Blades. But I'll try and avoid losing the sorcerers. Let's get the Dark Blades in the front, as well as the Skeletons. Now we can go on safely to the south. And here is the Masked One. First time he's appeared. Can we talk to him? You there, over here. Yes, we can. What's this? You're not one of that bungling magician's men. No, I'm not one of Warren's men. But you are a rune warrior, 
And you are here to get rid of that bungler, aren't you? A rune warrior. Magnificent. I've got just a mission for you. What mission? What kind of mission, old man? My numbskull of a servant, Lucius, fell into the clutches of those fiends, along with my load of merchandise. A couple of hours on the goblin's whipping post wouldn't do Lucius any harm. But I really miss my merchandise. It's right up there. Set the good fellow free, if you feel like it. I'll wait here. Come along with me. He's your servant, after all. I'd rather not spend my time in the company of idle statues. But wait, I have something else for you, here. What's that? This is a raw runestone. Take it along with you and look out for that goblin with the two knives. You're talking in riddles, you old owl. You'll be surprised. Now, off you go. My time doesn't run around in circles. Heh. <laughs> Upon circles. And he also doesn't like idle statues. So maybe he's talking about rune warriors. Hmm. Yeah. Most of you already know who he is. If not, I won't spoil it for you. Yes, so the Bindstone. Let's kill this orc here. Come on, you can do it. Stab him. Some moon silver, finally. Here, have a fireball. Taste of your own medicine. He was actually quicker than the avatar. Shit. Okay. A good number of moon silver. But I would need some support to take care of Gizzo. Maybe 15 sorcerers should be enough. Death before dishonor. Okay, so we have more Arya on the way, as well as Iron. And a steady income here as well. So we might get five of you onto the Moon Silver. Even if I won't use it, at least I know I'll have it if I need it. Let's wait until the sorcerers come, because we... I don't think... Are there any goblin spellcasters? There's Gitzo, a huge goblin. Quite fun fellow. Okay, so I think I'll shoot Gitzo first. Really? Nothing. Okay, quite a lot of goblins here. No spellcasters, so that's good. Okay, so the sorcerers have done their part, let's send them back to the army. Now I want to see Gitzo here, because he can be turned into a rune warrior that we can use. Become, become one of our rune heroes, so here is his essence. 
If we take it to the masked one, he will give us his rune. So I definitely want that. Because he is very fast and strong for a goblin. And because it's pretty awesome to have a goblin. Oh, really? They are starting to attack from here. Damn it. Probably because of our moon silver mine. Okay, let's keep moving on through the north. The avatar and the his her followers will protect this side here. But first, I want to talk to the to Lucius. Okay, now that we have time to do so, let's do it. Oh, I'm free! So it seems, friend. Oh, you! Have you set me free? Your sharp vision is astounding. Yeah. Oh, good! Thank you! Now, now you can buy some of my wares. Yeah. In gratitude? Buy something? Oh, my master has forbidden me to give things away. I used to give lots of things away. My master didn't like that at all. Uh -uh. My master? That's the man with the mask. Don't you know? He will certainly give you a handsome reward. Just go and see him. Or buy something nice yourself. Just look at my wares. Yeah. <laughs> Where are your wares? Okay. Whoa, okay, some higher leveled stuff here. We'll need this, but not right now. So we do have some spells here that we are not using. Let's see, do I have any gems? No, I won't sell the coins. And no buildings as well. Let's sell the level 1 room dark elves. And nothing else. Okay, so I was neglecting these spells here. We have level 3 necromancy, so we can use the skeletons. Finally, as well as life tap. So let's call upon one skeleton. Ah, there he is. Not even armed yet. But it's okay, it's only level 3. Eventually we'll get some archers, I think. So that's pretty good for a... Well, a black paladin character. So you can tank, and then you have some archer minions with you. Now, I think the best thing to do here would be to attack from this central area here while we go around with the avatar Attack! okay 20 damage from the life tap that's about the same as pain but steals the life from the opponent and gives it to you not a spell i will use much I think. But we'll see. Okay, let's invade their camp with skeletons. And then we'll send in our army. Let's hope we can take care of this tower here. Let's call more skeletons.
An ambassador. An orc ambassador. Not something you see every day. Plenty of skeletons left yet, as well as dark elves. White magic, useless to us, a two-handed axe. Lost one dark blade. But we have plenty of sorcerers. Let's send in the skeletons first. Hortar will probably run away. Yeah, there he goes. Fire and the ring. Let's use the dark blades to destroy this hut there. Kill this last ogre. So we can complete our genocide. These skeletons are just gonna keep doing their job, which is just stand there. Waiting to be killed. We still have 34 of them. Let's send them in to destroy the rest of the buildings. As well as the Dark Blades and the Sorcerers. Can remain here. Now, before talking to Hortar, I want to talk to the Masked One. So let's do that. Just look at the amount of skeletons. Okay. Hmm, okay, so I don't remember if... Yeah, I think if we talk to... As soon as we talk to Hortar, there will be a cutscene. And as soon as that cutscene's done, I think that the orcs will invade from the north. They'll probably kill the skeletons easily. So I think we'll assemble all of the skeletons, send them up north. Then we can... Well, stall them until the Dark Elves arrive. So I think I will send them at least over here. Because I'm not really sure. So I'll leave them over here in the middle of the map. So as to support them. Maybe here. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to the masked one. Ah, the rune is back. Your servant is free. Magnificent. Have you conquered the goblin? That I have. Then you will have noticed he had something peculiar on his person. Yes, a kind of essence. Your own runic power makes it visible to you, but hardly had you discovered it when it disappeared again. Gone off into the raw runestone I gave you. This is rune magic. Right. Now you have that goblin sleeping rune, and with a simple bit of magic, I'll awaken it for you. How did you master the rune carving? Bah. To do that, you need a circle mage with all his power. The runestones already have the power within themselves. 
All I do is take advantage of it. So, now you have that goblin's rune. Call him to a monument the same way you called your other rune slave. He will serve you. I'll give you another rune stone. Watch out to see if you discover an essence like this on an enemy. Then his soul is worthy of being bound to the rune. If the rune stone has taken on a further essence, bring it to me. I can awaken it for you. Yeah. So some mysterious guy with a mask appears. And he apparently knows how to use rune magic. Not at all suspicious. But oh well. At least now we have a goblin to serve as our rune hero. Not yet, but soon. There are quite a lot of different creatures aside from humans. It would be awesome to have an ogre as a rune warrior, don't you think? Okay. E 63 skeletons. More than enough to hold the enemy. So let's talk to Hortar and trigger the cutscene. He gave us one more raw rune stone. We'll soon have something to put in something there. Let's talk to Hortar. There's no need to slay me, rune servant. I have money. I'm after rune stones, not your purse, henchman. The rune stone of Riawis? Ha! <laughs> Riawis is the main reason I was stopped from getting away with Warim's gold. You'll never get your hands on this rune. How disadvantageous for both of us. Yeah. Not so fast. Not so fast. I can help you. There is a supply depot right near here. I will open it for you as a sign of my goodwill. Then I'll explain how you can beat Warim. Very well. You lead the way. Let's hope your suggestions are worth something, traitor. <laughs> Well, let's follow the traitor. I think over here is a trading camp. And there are the crickets again. Hmm. And a bindstone. Definitely what I want. Now, before talking to Hortar, I want to see what the merchants have. This is white magic, so no. This is armor and robes. All of it, very expensive, so no. And Raxilius here is weapons. So nothing that we can get. And Hortar has just opened the gate to another Dark Elf camp with some more resources. So yeah. And these guys... I don't need all of these guys working here. Arya? Hmm... Maybe just... Now let's take three. Okay, that just leaves us with one there. So let's take one of them from the quarry. And let's get the moon silver. And before talking to Hortar, let's get the bindstone. Okay, two of you here and five of you here. So let's get these two and get a, a third Onyx Shrine. So we can spam out sorcerers at our will. Should we need to? There are still plenty of enemy camps here. Let's talk to Hortar. 
This is where the orcs have stored a few things. Help yourself. I hope you'll find them useful. Now to my plan. Warren dwells on the Red Rock up in the east. The only way to get there leads through the old riverbed. But the ascent is being guarded by the best warriors the orcs have. Don't take this amiss, but you'll never get through there with your troops. However, there is something you can use to get the orc guards out of the way. Svera's crawlers. Repulsive beasts, but strong. They will only obey the sound of Svera's flute. So we need that flute. Svera has her camp in the northwest. You'll find it there. When you have it, we can move on. No, wait. One more thing. Warim has those revolting tree wraiths. They patrol all day outside the crawler's enclosure. Make sure they disappear. I won't take one step out before that. I hate those beasts. Horta! Treason everywhere! Sphera, send out your men! Mow them down! And here comes the invasion. Is there even an invasion or does she just open the gates? Yeah, a small invasion. Even the skeletons are gonna probably be able to kill them. Or maybe not. The Dark Elves should be there in time. So the gate remains closed. So the only way for the enemy to invade us is through here in the north. Let's activate this monument. Let's bring the avatar also to this side. Well, the skeletons are holding out. Let's pull them back. Draw the enemy in. So we can kill them. Let's hope the fire masters don't have as much mana. Okay, well the Dark Blades are taking a lot of casualties, maybe I should bring some assassins maybe, and now that we have the Moon Silver, maybe some higher leveled ones. The Battlemaster or the Death Knight, but it might just be a waste of resources because they are the Dark Blades are getting beaten by magic. Fire magic, specifically. So I don't know if these will fare any better. Hmm. Let's try a few assassins. Okay, the avatar is here. Well, the skeletons are coming after her. Will take them a while. These are very high level, so that's why we need the flute. So we need to kill Svera. There she is. First, we need to get rid of these towers, which is why I'll use the skeletons. Nor is with us. We are dead. Finally. So the skeletons can soak up the damage. Yeah, we'll leave just one of you here. You can go on and deplete this Onyx Shrine here. They can take care of the towers while we move on.
Well, the avatar... She does take those fireballs a bit better than her own troops. Let's go after Svera. Whoa, okay, that was extreme. Just stand there. So, some jewels. Level one skeleton. Not useful. A Kathai. I remember using this. There are some cooler weapons in the expansions. So, Svera has. A steel strike, very good weapon. Finally, a ring for mages. Hmm, gives us stamina, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. So, a very good ring for a white mage. And aura spells cost 33% less mana. Very useful. So, a key and a crawler flute. So, we have everything. Even if the ring is for, well, it's practically made for white users, white magic users, but it doesn't specify what type of aura, so if we get a black magic aura, it should work as well. So let's replace one of the rings for this one, because it gives us stamina, intelligence and wisdom, which, he, which are the three... What am I doing? I gave it to Dunham. Yeah, because I can't use it yet, which is disappointing. Yeah, I got all excited for nothing. Jeez, come on. I could give it to Dunham, but I want it for myself. That aura thing. Does seem interesting if we get the life tap aura. Maybe it gets. Hmm. It will use less mana. But the stats on this ring is already pretty good. And we are leveling up the stamina, intelligence, and wisdom. So it will be a good match for her. When we have the skill for it. Come on, guys. Let's try and save some of our skeletons. Okay, let's take out the last camp over here in the north. We have one skeleton left. Let's call one more. Damn, I really hate fire masters. Well, not as much as I hate kithars. Let's get ready to move on here in the north we have Svera's key so we should be able to advance Lena gets most of the fire damage What are you guys doing?
So yeah, we'll use Vera's key to open the gate. Let's use the camp key. And the gate is opened. So we need to take out the three wraiths. So that Hortar stops being a pussy. And advances with us. So let's group up the army. We'll reinforce it once we reach this monument here. But we'll leave it like this for now. Let's get the skeletons as well. And I'll leave the swamp for the next video. So thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like if you liked watching the video. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.